Good afternoon, members of the Heritage Committee, uh, board member, President Lisa Lawrence Aguilera, students, faculty, members of the community. We want to bring your attention to the extensive packet that the CLF has provided. Included in your packet is an analysis of AP 6620, where we outline how the proposal is in compliance with the policy. Also included is an economic impact statement that will demonstrate the immense contribution by the campesinos to our district. We have also provided the resolution calling for the renaming of the South Forum to be called the Campesino Forum. And we have provided over 600 signatures by students, faculty, managers, and members of the community, <clears throat> including board member Janet Rivera and the co-founder of the United Farm Workers, Dolores Huerta. Yes, it is an extensive study that we have brought before you. But the real focus of today is the question of recognizing the campesino community. We are here as a CLF, bringing forward the call to provide a permanent place of honor for the campesino. We know that agriculture is an economic backbone of our district and the breadbasket of this nation. Yet the campesino remains invisible. Rain, fire, flood, or pandemic, the campesino works and they pay their taxes. The campesino generates over $3 billion in revenue in our district. And in the middle of the pandemic, they were designated as essential workers. They continued to work. They carried the burden of living and dying so that the food supply chain would remain open, allowing many of us to shelter in place. Truly the work of the campesino is a sacrifice of love. The French camp to Lathrop, to Tracy, the campesino plant and tend the asparagus and the tomato fields. And on the outskirts of Stockton, they water, prune, and thin the almond and cherry orchards. And up north in the lush vineyards of Lodi, they pick the grapes. They work. Ninety percent of our campesinos are Hispanic, and 50 percent of our students are Hispanic. And what we are proposing is a call to recognize the people that put the food on our table. Let us say to all the community colleges in California that at this place and at this time and at this college, we honor the hard work and sacrifice of our campesino, that our students may come and sit in the campesino lecture hall and know that the hard work and sacrifice of their family and their descendants is valued. And we can begin to allow our campesino community to shake off the stigma of shame and transform it into a place of honor and pride. We ask for your affirmative vote. 